Who would win in a brutal fight between Wesley Snipes and Jean-Claude Van Damme? Could Snipes's flashy, diverse martial arts skills outsmart Van Damme's raw power and precision? Or would the muscles from Brussels crush his opponent? In this video, we break down their strengths, weaknesses, and styles to reveal who truly dominates in this epic clash of action legends. Stay tuned. Wesley Snipes is a multi-talented martial artist, holding a fifth-degree black belt in Shotokan Karate and a second-degree black belt in Hapkido. His repertoire also includes training in Kung Fu, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and Capoeira, making him a versatile and unpredictable fighter. This diversity in combat styles translates into adaptability, a crucial factor in any fight scenario. On screen, Snipes is best known for his role as Blade, where his acrobatics, precise strikes, and flair for dramatic combat sequences captivated audiences. His speed and agility are significant assets. Snipes can evade attacks with fluid movement and counter with precision strikes. Additionally, his athletic build and sharp reflexes give him an edge in close quarters combat. However, Snipes' fighting style leans heavily on cinematic choreography, which, while visually impressive, may not always translate to real-world practicality. His strength is in his ability to flow between styles, but this could become a double-edged sword if he encounters an opponent who excels in a more focused discipline. Furthermore, Snipes's reliance on agility and finesse might falter against a stronger, more brute force style. Jean-Claude Van Damme, often dubbed the Muscles from Brussels, is a powerhouse of raw athleticism and technical skill. With a background in karate, kickboxing, and Muay Thai, Van Damme's fighting style is built for power, precision, and endurance. His signature moves, such as his high-flying spinning kicks and impeccable splits, showcase his flexibility and strength. Van Damme's extensive kickboxing record, boasting 18 victories in 19 fights, underscores his real-world fighting experience. Unlike Snipes, Van Damme's martial arts expertise was tested in competitive environments, giving him a practical edge. His impressive physique and relentless training regimen also contribute to his ability to overpower opponents with sheer force. While Van Damme's power and precision are undeniable, his fighting style is more straightforward compared to Snipes' dynamic approach. This could make him somewhat predictable in a match against a versatile opponent. Additionally, his reliance on striking could be a vulnerability if the fight transitions to grappling or ground combat, areas where Snipes might have an advantage. A confrontation between Snipes and Van Damme would be a thrilling clash of styles. Snipes would likely employ a mix of quick strikes and acrobatic evasion, testing Van Damme's patience and reaction speed. On the other hand, Van Damme would aim to close the gap and unleash his devastating kicks and punches, using his superior power to overwhelm his opponent. While Snipes's adaptability and agility could frustrate Van Damme initially, the latter's endurance and experience in real combat scenarios would likely give him the upper hand. Van Damme's ability to maintain composure and strike decisively would gradually wear down Snipes, making it difficult for the latter to sustain his evasive tactics. After a grueling and high-octane battle, it's Jean-Claude Van Damme who would emerge victorious. His combination of raw strength, technical precision, and competitive fighting experience would prove too formidable for Wesley Snipes. Though Snipes would put up a commendable fight with his diverse martial arts arsenal, Van Damme's resilience and unparalleled striking ability would seal the win. In this showdown of legends, the muscles from Brussels reign supreme.